Hey guys, it's Nerdy Michelle A. Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll take a quick look at the Apple Smart Folio Case versus the Z to Top Folio Case for iPad Air 4th Generation. You might remember the Apple Smart Case only covered the front of the iPad. The new Smart Folio covers the front and back of the iPad Air. I chose the black case. However, for the iPad Air, there are several fun additional colors for the fourth generation model. They have, of course, classic black. There's also deep navy, white, cypress green, and citrus. Taking a look at this smart folio, we'll notice that on the back of the box, they have instructions as well as just a reminder that this case again is compatible only with iPad Air fourth generation. The Zeta Top case, it comes in black, blue, and pink. Today we'll be taking a look at the black so we can compare this black versus the Apple Smartfolio black. The Zeta Top case found on Amazon. Here, as we open the Smart Folio case, we'll notice that unboxing is pretty clean. You just grab the tab and pull. The case slides right out inside the box. We just have this cardboard like. And put that back, put this to the side. Nice one polyurethane piece rendering. Taking a look at the Zeta Top, it's packaged in a bag. Again, this one is on Amazon. Right now they have a special where you can get it for uh, $10. This case on the inside, we've got, looks like a little offer, membership registration. Some silica gel, not friendly if you have pets. Be sure to ditch that real good. And a little styrofoam on the inside. We'll put that over there. Taking a look at both of these cases right off, the Zeta Top case, black is darker than the Apple Smart Folio case. I'm going to take a look at the insides. The Apple Smart Folio case is darker on the inside than the um, Zeta Top case. And also, the Zeta Top case, the inside doesn't feel bad, but it doesn't feel high end either. It feels almost like a um, strange flannel. The Apple Smart folio case on the inside, this polyurethane almost has a suede um, feel to it on the inside. Let's get an iPad Air inside both of these cases and let's see how they do. We'll start off with the Apple Smart Folio. We'll take this iPad Air and we're just gonna Put it in place here and it's in. Take a look. We've got coverage on all three sides. Also on all three sides, I'm not seeing any bulge at all with the case itself. Now we'll try the Zeta Top case. goes right into place close it up and I feel a little bit of a airy bulge here on the side I hold it at an angle it's pretty good um, probably kind of hard to see but there is a little bulging here on the case as I hold it um, so that is something to note on that case. Um, connecting an Apple Pencil on the Apple case, no problem. 
connecting an Apple Pencil on the Zeta top, no problem as well. The magnets on the Apple case immediately make me feel as if they're holding pretty, pretty nice. Um, I take it, open it up, and I'm not feeling any give at all holding that in place. Even if, let's see, I have my Apple Pencil in place, it's still holding very well, that magnet. Let's give it a try here on the Zeta Top case. See how they're holding. Holds nice with the iPad. I put the pencil in place and it's still holding real well. If you want to remove your iPad from the Apple Smart Folio case or the Zeta Top Smart Folio case, both of those you shouldn't have any problems with. Um, they click right in one hand. You should be able to pull them out or um, using two, like your first hand is going to say. Um, when it comes down to the wake feature, um, both cases have a wake feature. You see the Apple one woke, went to sleep. Here, the Zeta Top wakes. It's going to go to sleep when you close it wake sleep same thing with the apple case wake and sleep um, when we open them and go all the way to the back there's no hanging um, open front flap anymore and same thing here on the Zeta top case. Now I did notice it felt as if there was maybe like a little hesitation with the Zeta top case versus the Apple case. It just kind of like the Apple case just kind of like knew what to do. This one here, it kind of felt like I was kind of prodding it into um, doing what I wanted to do with that. Um, also, I feel here, and you should be able to see that, it's got a bulge as it's holding there. So. Um, and it actually came undone. So that magnet, when you close it all the way to the back, is not holding very well. Uh, let's take another look here at the Apple case. Holding great. No problems, no bulges at all. Holds real well. With the Apple Smart Folio, there is a nice little feature now. You can fold that back and it holds in place so you can expose your rear camera if you need to use it while you have your case on. Taking a look at the Smart Folio, Zeta Top impersonation, not the same. Not able to do that. So you can reveal, yes, your camera, but it's not going to hold in place. The person would have to hold their finger and take the picture. So that's something important to note that's a difference there um, it's one of those features that um, I think you probably might forget about or not even know it's hidden there um, with the Apple smart folio case the design both cases very slim so no extra bulk so pretty much going from your backpack there shouldn't be much issue um, the Apple Pencil pops right into place. Um, no, neither one doesn't have a, a dedicated strap to hold the Apple Pencil into place. So if you have a concern with the Apple Pencil holding into place while in a backpack, yes, you might want to put it in a pencil holder or something like that. Um, overall, both guys did a good job in providing a stylish, minimalist folio cover. The price of the Apple Smart Folio cover without any discounts is quite steep, however, coming in at $79. There are, of course, cheaper options like the Zeta Top. The Zeta Top at Amazon is $10 right now on sale. Um, and 
My winner of the day overall though is going to be the Smart Folio case by Apple. To me, this out of the two is the best minimalist case for the iPad Air 4. It provides all the necessary covering and protection for the minimalist while still being pleasing aesthetically to the eye and letting you be able to really take advantage of the robustness of your iPad Air. Well, folks, that does it for another episode of Nerdy Michelle A. Thanks for tuning in and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, peace, love, and happiness.